morning, y'all. So I'm on my way to the surgery center. Um, I was supposed to be there at 6, but they called me this morning asking can I be there at 5.30. Knowing I'm black and knowing that it ain't gonna even be possible. Cause I wasn't even out the bed yet. But let me, I got on here just to tell y'all my chauffeur. <laughs> She is driving this bitch today. <laughs> she is driving it today, y'all. She's definitely driving it today. Not 15 miles per hour going on the expressway. But I'll let her use my GPS. I'll be back. So I'm in the pre-op room waiting for the doctor to come in. So we can discuss how the body's gonna be. So I'm just patiently waiting. It's hot in this mask. Oh my god. Oh, it's hot. And my lips is trapped. Somebody got a baby girl. It's so hot in here. <clears throat> so I'm back you guys I've been finished with my surgery but so it was a change like last minute change I got blood on my nose alright so it was like a last minute change Cause I must have had the doctor confused with my consultation. Cause like I'm so used to tucking in my stomach. So like I do it without even realizing. Um, my doctor, he was very nice. My daughter, his name is Dr. Scott Meridian. He was very nice. Um, even after the changes, he gave me time to like sit and think about it you know to see if I wanted to um make those decisions right now so I really uh, originally went in for a BBL and liposuction mind you I do have four kids I do have four kids so with my third child he um he separated my muscles after that pregnancy so I'm a um I'ma link what the name of the shit is because I don't feel like I feel like figuring that shit out. But he's separating the muscles and I had this hernia. Like I don't had this hernia all my life, but it wasn't even like a major hernia, like how the little kids um hernia stick out. Um so I just always thought I had an Audi. But, you know, my parents, they never, I guess it was, like, to the point where it didn't need, like, you know, special attention. But, um, <sighs> bear with me one more. I'm just trying to catch my breath because I have been talking. So, I went in at 530 because somebody canceled or somebody appointment was counseled. I don't know if they was pregnant or not. And she asked me, could I be here? All right. She asked me, could I be here at 5.30? So I, I got there at like 5.30. And um, so my doctor, he came in and as soon as I took my dress off, he was like, he was like, uh, 
he was saying that oh you know your muscles is separated or whatever he was like your muscles separated so you should just go ahead and do a tummy tuck because if you do the bbl and the lipo then um and you're gonna have loose skin and he was like it would retract but the, the loose skin was still gonna be there <laughs> and um so he gave me like a a minute to to come up come up with my decision on whether i wanted to add that extra service or not and i went on girl i'm making my video <laughs> Um, oh, shit. And, um, he gave me that extra time to, um, you know, call whoever I needed to call and decide if I want to make that, um, additional payment for the extra services. And, um, it was originally 6300 additional. Well, he knocked some money off of it. Um, at that time, I didn't have any questions because he had to laid it on me and I, I was lost. So I had time to sit and think. And then he was nice enough to come back and answer whatever questions I had. And then shortly after that, I used the bathroom and then like my anesthesia person was very nice too. I used the bathroom. I went um, to the back. It was freezing fucking cold in there. I was shaking so damn bad like I was coming up off that epidural. But when he gave me that anesthesia through my damn IV, I was out of there. It took a couple of seconds. I was out of there. I don't have no pain in my stomach area right now. Um, it's just the lipo. The lipo, it burns. It's kind of aggravating. But it's, it's bearable. It ain't nothing that you can't, you know. Like, I got four kids. So, it was bearable. But trying to find medication out here in Miami is so hard. How many places we went to? Three. So we went to four places. And Walgreens so happened. CVS ain't have none. CVS ain't have none. Target ain't have none. And I just think that's crazy because like they know like they know this is like the city for it getting plastic surgery and stuff like I really feel like they should can you turn the air back on please just slow I really feel like they should be able to have that stuff and stop when people really need it but well I can't wait to get that perk and go to sleep okay I was laying on my sides or whatever and then I was on my knees for a little bit my booty is swollen because I got the BBL lipo on the back and my flank and um, the tummy tuck. So those, that's what I got. He was like, you have more kids? Bitch, that's a done daughter. <laughs> Hell nah. My motherfucker don't even got a word. Um... I did want some more, but I don't know how that works, but, um, my lips so damn chapped, y'all. My throat a little dry. I did, like, slurp on some applesauce to drink almost all my water. I gotta pee a little bit, but I'm just gonna hold it until I get to the, um, to the, um, hotel. So I did stay at the Law Miami Airport, or whatever the fuck that shit called. So, I am in a adoptable board right now. After my post op, he'll let me know when I can get into my Faha because he said I'm still going to need that. He just want to, you know, make sure everything's okay. 
But you got a stash. I could just feel it. No extra skin and shit. Bitch, we outside this summer. Literally. My, you prices is up. Prices is up, bitch. Like gas prices. The bitches is up. But let me tell you. I definitely want to shout out my motherfucking friend. Because, baby, to get me that medication, it would have took two hours to process. She had the whole fucking pharmacist out this bitch walking to the car to get that shit expedited. Or whatever. I definitely appreciate her for that. Um, but... I'll let y'all know when I get to the hotel. I need to hold on a little bit. I can't feel my booty. Look at my baby. Hey. Mm -hmm. Where you going? Hey, hello, hello. She cute, but she crazy. Hey, you guys. I'm back. I know it's been a minute, but, um, before I go like lay down for a little bit, I'm gonna do a walk. Um, as of now, or as of all day, the pain is a five. I mean, well, I don't know if I can really say a five. I'm just saying in between because I'm com uncomfortable and like when my stitches rub, it it just I don't know. It's just aggravating. Yeah. <laughs> you got the key? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna just walk um in the hotel it's like this long ass hallway oh shit my bad you no 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 because i talk about some long ass hallway but it wouldn't oh <laughs> yeah so i'm able to walk i don't feel stiff um i'm able to walk my friend been so supportive y'all i love her i love you i love her even though I've been trying to kind of take it easy on her at home, I pee and shit. Y'all, I pee to myself. She ain't doing me no motherfucking favors, and she gonna have to pee regardless. So she might as well just. It actually. That I it actually feels better to walk now, cause yeah. I think um because You're the temperature the temperature was had me shaking. And not only that, every time you pee more, you get rid of more and more of this. Oh, look at my drains, y'all! Like I ain't even really draining like that. My stomach do feel tight, but I mean, it's not nothing that I can't handle or whatever. Your girl is looking nice. I mean, I, you know, I know you're not supposed to fall in love like, with your swollen body, but I put my faith that I'm going to be a fat bitch I outside. Awesome. I already got the pieces together, y'all. <laughs> my daughter was like so considerate. I loved it because I know, you know, it's tax season. And a lot of doctors is trying to get that money and just rush your girls. Bitch, I know. Every fucking day he making about a hundred thousand. Cause he an early bird, and that makes sense to come in real early mm -hmm. to get started. I think um the earliest he'll come in is four thirty. That's some motivation, right? Yes. And you add on last minute services and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So like my procedure was initially a BBL and lipo, but I had muscle separation from like, I got the four kids. So he fixed all that. And it was money well spent cause baby, this body finna be out. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You see how the gas price is going up? For sure. If you know, if you know. <laughs> I know um, looking at some of the um, girls, the, um, the dolls on um, YouTube, they be real stiff and stuff. But I, I guess you know, I really honestly thought I was gonna be dramatic. You were. Well, at first, but I mean, like as far as the pain. But I think that I think that um, people that are not stiff, what people don't tell you is that they don't walk as they should. So they they yeah, really I do take believe advantage that. of those. Because they say when you go to the bathroom and you come back, that's equivalent to five um, minutes. But people are just using that five minutes and letting it be five minutes. And and you have to walk even like and I really, any procedure. And I really honestly um, think that like some of the girls I see that be upset with 
like, because they fell in love with their surgery body, I really be feeling like they don't wear they faha and stuff like they supposed to the whole time. Yeah, the thing about it. Because they really bashed my um doctor before, like, you know, just looking at the surgery pages. <laughs> they really did bash him. But I ain't give a fuck. Because when you mention safety and I got, like, underlying issues, um, hypertension or whatever, that's what I'd be more concerned about than, you know, a fat ass. But well, the thing about it, too, what people got to realize, too, when you're getting your body done is that you have to, people be so ready to show the body off. They don't give it yeah. enough time to They be heal. wanting to try on clothes and right. stuff. So you have to, like, they be so ready for everybody to see it. But, like, like go my ahead friend. and take that time and lay back and then pop out. Because my mama had My her. friend still wears, and she got hers done last year. My mama and still wears. wears. Yeah. And she And, and she waist still, train. Yeah. You have to, like, this is something that if you want to maintain This is an investment. It, if you want to maintain it, you won't have to care for it like you did the first day. Ow, bitch. I feel the cuff on my ass, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's definitely there. Fuck that job. Bitch finna go dance. Okay. Please sing, cause I already, you know, I already know how to shake a little tail feather. Might as well get paid for it. I actually feel, I actually feel um, good to do another one, another stroke. So this is my second time, and I'm gonna do a third one because I actually feel good and not stiff. You said you like who here? The um, well, the girls, the people, but the girl at the hotel, the who work here, the 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 one. Yeah. She's okay. so sweet. She, she is. She sent stuff that that I didn't even ask for, but she was asking me when I was um. She was like, "Do you need help?" And I was like, "No, I got it." That was nice. Yeah, and she got them right up here because you know earlier before we I left, I sent the right location. I mean, I picked the right location, is what I meant to say. Look at you already talking about sending locations. <laughs> nah, ain't nobody gonna see me, so I pop out. I just let Brad see me because I've been telling him it's a surprise. So you ain't telling the other part. That's gonna be the real thing. But That's the gag. Because you heard. <sighs> Back shots, 500. Right. Price is going up. Yes, bitch. Ain't no free. Ain't no free, free. Your wife's going to be the already be up, bitch. Right. It takes $250 to breathe out this bitch. So, I'm going to get my hair, y'all. And it takes even more. I don't know more. if y'all saw it earlier, but this how I was looking after um, dealing with her motherfucking ass. Like, just check. And I'm going to get my dial here done once you go back. This part, this motherfucking thing. Well, I have to check with you. Oh, thing. well, you know, I could fly. Don't worry about that. You just want to Yeah, I was, but I could fly. I hate driving now. It's probably gonna be like mid, mid May. Whenever you get the date, you let me know so I can block off my car so I can have my drive my other car. Oh yeah, you just gonna have your shit back. I know you happy. Yes, bitch. Listen, for those people in Atlanta based, my dog finna have her luxury ass panoramic. Yes, Listen. Yes. <laughs> Listen, the unique seats, bitch. She finna have that shit on Toro. Make sure you book with my girl, okay? AMG. I do want you to get some rest, though, because I don't want it to kick your ass. Girl, it's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. Because, girl, I thought I was. Well, I'm finna go lay down, y'all. Peace.